after these shocking Mao demolitions and those whose houses were demolished are still waiting for compensation. Now, though a forensic audit done on that Shokimao land dealings lifted the responsibility from the government and placed it on those who sold the plots, nothing has been done so far to ensure that the evictees are compensated. Sharon Momani with more on this story. On the morning of 12th November 2011, it was life as usual for families here in Siokimau until a little later when the bulldozers came in demolishing their houses and with every stone that tumbled, so was life as they knew it. Almost two years later now, and revisiting the place they once called home is a painful, heartbreaking experience for the victims, one they tried to avoid. This here was once Caroline Mwasa's house. I have uh, three babies and my husband. We lived here for one year before the demolitions happened. In the place where her house stood now lies this mound of debris and there are clusters of this all over this area in what was once an upmarket estate next to the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and Andrew Magu's house here. These two are among the more than 5,000 victims of the Siokimao evictions and house demolitions of 2011. <laughs> Um, sasa kufikiria the, the first people who call ni, 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 ni jaribu kuita mea. Not even the president or the prime minister or a minister has gone to talk to the affected individuals. The Misimi led joint parliamentary committee created soon after the demolitions to look into the issue recommended that humanitarian assistance and alternative settlements be given to victims of the demolitions. A forensic audit conducted later lifted the responsibility of compensation from the government but instead recommended that the director of public prosecutions and the CID conduct further investigations on persons alleged to be behind the fraud, including government officials and authorities in the settlement schemes. But what I'm telling my people, this has done, they have done this, but justice will be done. We have to go to courts. Caroline now lives with her husband and three children in this small rental flat not far from her former house. A makeshift bedroom within the kitchenette for their three children who no longer have the luxury of space. The family now struggling with bank loans and bills and have had to move their children from a luxurious private school to a local day school. It is so hurting when you see something you have, you have worked for, you wanted to be a Kenyan who owned a home and one minute you are brought down to nothing. And so the questions they ask, how could they have been deemed irresponsible in being part of land deals that saw over 5,000 people confidently purchasing land through the schemes and government providing essential services such as water and electricity without detecting fraud? Who was meant to protect them? Who is going to be held accountable? And when will justice be served? Sharon Momani, KTN.